Hi guys, I'm going to do a little book review today on Boy Underwater by Adam Barron. God, this was an amazing book. I picked it up, um, I actually ordered it after seeing a few people chatting away about it on Twitter over the last couple of weeks and sort of pre-ordered it. Um, arrived on Friday. It was awesome. I started reading it uh, yesterday morning, uh, finished it yesterday evening. I actually went to a, a sort of... Um, barbecue in between but it was on my mind the start of it I'd read about 30 pages before I went to the barbecue and all the other, well I say all afternoon but it kept cropping up into my mind what was going to happen next and once I got home couldn't wait to read it it's a brilliant story it is a story that focuses on a young boy a boy in um, year four I believe at school he has a very interesting name his name is Cymbeline Igloo which in itself is as I say interesting and a bit weird but Essentially, it focuses on um, Cymbeline's um, sort of experience with swimming, or lack of experience with swimming, if we uh, put it that way. He's a sporty boy, he's a popular boy, sort of well-rounded chap, but he's never been swimming. And over the years, his mum has made up excuse after excuse for him not to go swimming. And he's never really thought too much about it until school swimming lessons start. And... He finds himself in a bit of a pickle. He feel, he's sort of a bit embarrassed to say he's never been swimming, so says that he has, and obviously finds himself in a bit of trouble. When his mum finds out that he's been swimming, she loses it. She um, gets really angry at him, gets really upset, and essentially ends up um, being checked into um, a sort of mental health institute. She... Um, it emerges. Cymbeline's father is not around. As far as he knows, his father has passed. It's just him and his mother. But he, his mother is checked into a mental health facility and he goes off to live with his um, cousins for a short period of time and his, his aunt. Now, this is where the story really begins to take shape. We see some really valuable lessons here. We find um, some clear societal differences between Cymbeline and his mother who he goes to a state school his mother is an artist but obviously someone that's not earning huge amounts of money whereas his two cousins and his aunt and uncle they live in a big house they don't really want for anything the uncle has a big city job uh, Cymbeline's cousins are at private school and that divide and that sort of separation in life between the sort of tiers of society is something he perhaps starts to think about for the first time at the same time, there's his desperate sort of confusion with what's happening to his mother. Why has she abandoned me? Why, why doesn't why isn't she here for me? He's wondering. And alongside that, there's some very interesting dynamics between characters that perhaps weren't the best of friends with Cymbeline to start with. But as the story evolves, and as we sort of realise that he really is a a boy that is in a quite a tricky situation and an emotional situation. You see characters that at first weren't his friends and perhaps picked on him. You see the good parts of their personalities emerge and they in fact begin to help him to find out where his mum is and what might have happened to his mum. What was also really lovely about this book, you've got um, a sort of star pupil if you like. I believe she's called Veronique if I'm going to pronounce it correctly. Um, she appears to be a sort of grade A student, getting everything right and to... Um, you know, brilliant at extracurricular activities. And to the average person, she appears like she's got it nailed. Her life is perfect. But what actually emerges a little bit later on is um, she, in fact, has her own sort of demons she's battling with. She's got um, perhaps some insecurities and also uh, a tendency to have a very short temper. And she's undergoing some sort of um, art therapy, which Cymbeline himself undergoes. So, again, that was really interesting to see how... Um, it's a nice message for children how on the face of things everyone seems to have or certain people seem to have their life absolutely sorted if you like but everyone has their own troubles and trials and tribulations it is a fantastic book it's a really exciting read i found myself as i say turning the pages turning the page after page and finished it in the space of a couple of hours i do think it's a book that my year four class would enjoy very very much i think um i wouldn't i 
I think they'd be able to access it. However, I wouldn't put a cap on it age-wise. I enjoyed it age 29. I think year five, six children and above would absolutely love it. It's written in a really beautiful way. There's some really nice description, but there's also some really um, relevant, current, fun, cool and trendy things that I think children reading this would absolutely love. So. As I say, Boy Underwater, Adam Barron, do give it a read. It's not been out long, but it's one that I think will create quite a buzz. Um, as, it, as always, if you've liked this, please do give it a um, thumbs up on, Twitter, on um, YouTube. And even better if you could subscribe. Not sure what book I'm moving on to next, but I'm sure to keep you guys informed. Thank you.